piece, Four Sculptures for Two Trumpets, was inspired by sculptures by Derek Parker. The first movement, 15 feet closer to the sky, is inspired by the sculpture of the same name. It contains two ascending metal wires that begin conjoined and gradually separate. At the tip of each wire is a metal paper airplane. The movement begins at the bottom of the sculpture and gradually moves up. The intertwining lines of the two trumpets culminate at the top of the sculpture where a flurry of activity sends the paper airplanes shooting off into the sky. The trumpeters use practice meets throughout the movement, which create a very muffled and distant sound. The sculpture Submarine Egg inspires the second movement. The sculpture depicts a submarine in a bird's nest. In conversations with Derek Parker, I learned that the sculpture represents Parker's six years of service in the United States Navy, and how the military became his home away from home. My movement references the Star-Spangled Banner through fragmentation of the lines of text, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, and, and the home of the brave. You will hear fragments of the melody gradually take shape over the course of the movement. In the movement, I ask each trumpeter to remove one valve slide and use the other valve slides to create glissandos. The resulting effect will be that when a valve is pressed, the sound will come out of both the front and side of the trumpet, most of the sound escaping from the open valve slide. You may be able to imagine sonar pings of a submarine or the echo of a 21-gun salute. The movement In Memoriam is loosely inspired by Parker's sculpture Precipice, which consists of a lone metal chair fastened to a long wooden plank. The minimalist design of the sculpture and isolation of the chair evoke a deep sense of contemplation. In the final movement, Going Up the Downside, the sculpture depicts a small boat traveling up the downside of a tall metal ramp. The work represents the upward struggle of the tiny boat against the downward force of the metal ramp. Will the boat ever reach the top? My greatest thanks to Aaron and Adam, two of my favorite trumpeters, for the Canadian premiere of Forest Sculptures. Thank you.